I'll just start by telling you I was born in 1940 and my parents, my dad came from England. I went to grade school in Limingon, a small one room school, one teacher, there were five grades. And after the fifth grade, we went to Redrick's a school another five miles west. And we, uh, we went there for three years and they had switched that little school I was at in kindergarten, they made it into a ninth and 10th grade school. So I went, I went back to that little school for ninth and 10th and then we went to Houghton High School for 11th and 12th, which I graduated in 1958. Uh, I was not a very good student, uh, a lot of it because I just didn't like school. And I, I uh, wish I would have did it different, but it is what it is. After. Eight, I was uh, working small jobs here and there, and I decided to go in the Army. And in 59, I joined the Army, January 1959. And then when I thought about it, I was a little bit scared to go alone, so I went to find a buddy of mine who was milking a cow in Limingo. And I talked him into coming with me. So we went in the Army together. We went to, we ended up in Georgia, Fort Benning, Georgia. And from there, we went over to Germany on a ship, which uh, took us nine days, I think nine or 11 days to get across. And uh, then we took a train from there to Swinford, Germany. Very scary for a young man, never off the farm. And uh, all new people you're surrounded by, uh, which now are my good friends, they're army buddies that I, I do uh, go see every year, some of them. And I spent two years in Germany, or 18 months. And I was fortunate to get onto a hockey team uh, the winter I was there and played hockey all over Europe and uh, Berlin, played teams from England and Czechoslovakia. And I came back to the States and came back home to, to the Upper Peninsula, which um, was the first time I saw the Mackinac Bridge, and that was built while I was gone, or finished while I was gone. And the Houghton Bridge was built while I was gone. So I could come home to that bridge. And at work, I, I, when I came back, I worked in the Freedom Mill where my dad was in there at a copper plant. And uh, I, I, from there, I journeyed to Milwaukee for one year, worked in the auto factory making Ramblers. And we, uh, we got laid off, so we came back and I worked in the mine, CNH mine, a half a mile underground for one year. It seemed like as soon as I got a vacation, I, I left those jobs. And I got into construction and become a bricklayer and a mason. And I, uh, I did that then for the rest of my working career which I retired when I was 58 years old after my wife had passed away. And uh, I, I enjoyed the mason work. Most of the buildings at Michigan Tech I had worked on the high rises at one time or another and the schools around churches, schools, all union jobs, which I get a pension now. And, uh, but I never really left the UP except for the Army and one year in Milwaukee. I am a U. I come from the Well, it was a poor family. We lived on a farm, and uh, we had maybe eight, ten cows, chickens, and pigs, and we had all... And my dad worked in the Freedom Mill, and uh, there wasn't that much money, but between the both of them, we, we ate well. We, we did not have any of the fancy clothes because I, I worked for farmers so I could have, have the nice pair of pants and jacket and shoes. And I think I worked, I don't know how long to get a pair of pants that had the, the tag on the back, on the back because the ones that my folks bought us were all those cheap Big Mac and, and uh, you know, we were just poor, poor, poor folks. But we were, we were, we were happy folks. We had a lot of love and a lot of, caring for each other. And, uh, I 
guess I didn't regret my childhood at all. And I had five brothers and three sisters, so you, you were never, we always had something to do with each other. And it was so nice that we moved to Freedom in the winter months because it was too hard for my dad to get to work from, from where we lived. So in Frida, I got to play hockey. I had friends to play with. I could go out Halloween trick-or-treating because on the farm, the next house was two miles away, maybe. <laughs> trick-or-treating and go look at Christmas trees at Christmas time. It was just fun being in, in a little town for, for the winter months. In the spring, we were happy to go back to the farm. And the next winter, we'd look forward to going to Frida. And uh, I got married in 1961. And me and my wife had five children which now I have 15 grandkids. And we were married for 37 years when she was diagnosed with cancer in 1996. She passed away in 1998. And, uh, and then I remarried in uh, 2000. And uh, I've been married now to Mina for 16 years. money to drive us always so you'd get on the highway and hitchhike but by living in the same place you got to know what time certain people went by so if you got on the road at that time they'd give you a ride some uh, some rides were a little bit faster than other rides there was one old guy John Huckala was his name he went so slow I think a jogger passed us one day <laughs> As kids in the we would play uh, anti anti eye over, which would throw the ball over the house. <laughs> and then there'd be a team on the other side, and they catch the ball, and uh, and, uh, and then you'd run, and you'd throw the ball, and whoever you hit, they had to throw the ball over the other way. And we'd play games, you know, maybe kick the can of and we had that one, and, and You'd form a line and you'd, you'd holler somebody, Red Rover, Red Rover, send Loretta over. And she'd have to run and try to break through that line. <laughs> I don't remember exactly how the whole game went, but but it was stuff like that we did. And there was a little bit of mischief involved. We won't go there. <laughs> and uh, yes, playing baseball in the summer and hockey in the winter, that was, that was what we did. my grandchildren and uh, like I go to Florida in, in the month of March to watch the Detroit Tigers, my favorite baseball team, spring training, I enjoy that and um, I guess I'm just just a happy youper now and, and hopefully I'll have many more good years to enjoy watching my grandchildren and my children. I feel the UP is a great place to raise a family and uh, hopefully there'll be more jobs that people would be able to stay around here. We're, uh, even at my age we went to Milwaukee to work on Rambler cars. The pay was double what we were making here but to live in the city was not my cup of tea because I'm a UPer and I'm proud of it. I'm a proud veteran, a proud American and a proud UPer.